Hello, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, great citizens of the internet. I greet you all wherever you are watching from. This is your friend and brother, O Doctor. If you are joining me for the first time or you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you. Okay, if you have not subscribed, remember to do so to help us. Okay, um, if you are wondering what this um, channel is all about, this is a YouTube channel which I created to help you improve your health by relating clinical scenarios, what we see in the clinic, the complaints that people come with, especially those ones that have to do with you know mistake or error or ignorance we use such scenarios and give you the right thing and advise you of course all right so that's basically what we do here so today i want to talk about something that has become an epidemic like anytime i hear it i i don't know like i have advised i've advised but then I can just keep repeating myself um, on daily basis. So I think this video should summarize it. Let everybody watch it and learn for those that want to learn. Okay, it is this uh, stain of uh, Bicham and Piclos and this issue of you know washing out sperm or preventing pregnancy or uh, aborting, causing abortion. You know, people do all sorts of things. So what, let me just use a clinical scenario and explain it to you. Somebody came and complained of, um, I've forgotten what she said, but it has to do with that she wanted to, she had unprotected intercourse and, you know, wanted to prevent pregnancy. That in fact, she came with a different complaint of she was having um, vaginal discharge. Okay, she was having a whitish um, vaginal discharge with itching. Most likely, she had candida, uh, candidiasis. Okay, but then in the course of our discussion, I asked her, "Do you indulge in unprotected intercourse?" She said yes, but I normally wash out after, you know, doing it. So that's what caught my attention. I now asked her to please explain to me what exactly do you mean by what are you washing out and how do you wash out? She said. Um, that she uses bicham and picloss. That after I'm um, having intercourse, she uses bicham and picloss and wash off the infection or any or any possible infection and wash off the sperm so she will not get pregnant. Really? <laughs> it was a confidence for me. Like the confidence. Honestly, it, sometimes I wonder: is it that people have Android? The person saying this has Apple has um, what's it? What's it? What the, this costly for? What's the name again? iPhone. Okay, that with a click you get the right information from the internet. Yet, you know, she people practice you know these kind of things. So let me let, with that. Let's just hit um, the ground running. Bicham Ampicloss or any other brand of Ampicloss. Remember, Bicham is just a brand of the drug called Ampicloss. There are several brands, just like Ralph Milk. There are several brands of milk, Pig Milk, Dano, Cowbell. So Bicham is just a brand of Ampicloss. So Bicham Ampicloss or any other brand of Ampicloss is not a contraceptive. A contraceptive is a drug that can prevent pregnancy. So, Bicham Ampiclos or any brand of Ampiclos is not a contraceptive. So, what is it? It is an antibiotic. What is an antibiotic? An antibiotic is a drug or a medication that is used to treat bacterial infections. It is not used in treating fungal infections like candidiasis. It is not used in treating viral infection like HIV. And it cannot prevent you from getting these ones. 
So when you are having unprotected intercourse, if the person you are doing it with has HIV, the charm and pick clause will not save you. If the person you are doing it with will give you fungal infection like candidiasis, the charm and pick clause will not do anything. Or either that be charm and pick clause or any other brand of ampic clause. I'm, I'm adding the charm because that's what people usually, you know, that's the that's the 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 the, the, the motto, the charm and pick as if so I repeat, it is not a contraceptive in, in case you are having an unprotected sex and you are taking the term clause or any other brand of ampic clause to prevent pregnancy or to flush out that sperm. No, you will get pregnant if if there's an egg, if you are in your ovulation period, you will get pregnant. The term clause or any other form of ampic clause will never help you to prevent pregnancy or help you to flush out the sperm or help you to abort a possible pregnancy. It will not help you in fungal infections. It will not help you in viral infections. It may, it may most likely help in bacterial infection. That is why I said it is an antibiotic. And what is an antibiotic? An antibiotic is a drug, is a medication that is used in treating bacterial infections. Um, specific bacteria. So when you say you are treating infection, you have not said anything. Infection is like, like this. It's like saying, my car has problem. Which problem? Is it the seat, the tire, the steering, the glass? Which part of your car has problem? That's what it sounds like when you come and say, doctor, I, 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 I treated infection last week. What, what is infection? Somebody came and said, I treated infection last week. I said, what is infection? She was looking at me so I I treated infection last week. What is what? So it's good that we know these things so that we apply our hearts onto wisdom. Wisdom is profitable to direct. At this age, there, there's some kind of ignorance that's not supposed to be involved. Unfortunately, people are just, I don't know, so, contraception is a different topic. In fact, on this, I have a, a playlist of contraception, so just check it and watch some videos there. And as time goes on, we'll be uploading as many as we can to help you educate you on how to prevent pregnancy, of which condom is the commonest and easiest and cheapest way. So, if you're taking the term Ampiclos or any, any other brand of Ampiclos, you have the, the the issue of HIV has not been uh, has not been addressed. You can still get HIV. You can still get hepatitis B. You can still get herpes simplex virus, which would cause you what or um, cervical cancer. You can still get other viruses. You can still get fungal infections like candidiasis. Very common. Very common women okay so these things has nothing to do with the chairman clause or any other brand of ampiclos it is an antibiotic and it only works for bacterial diseases or bacterial infections so that's the only place it can have an effect not with pregnancy not with viruses and not with fungi it's good that you know this and stop wasting your money trying to prevent something that cannot be prevented. If you want to pre prevent pregnancy, have a... In fact, it, it, if you want to prevent pregnancy, use condom. Abby. There are other contraceptive methods which is not within the scope, the scope of this uh, video. If you, want, if, you want to, if you don't want to get HIV, use condom. At least there is some percentage of protection you get from using condom. Not exposing yourself and then swallowing the charm ampicloth or any other brand of ampicloth in the name of washout. You are not washing out anything. Apply your heart onto wisdom. You will never forgive yourself if you get an incurable disease like HIV, that ordinary condom of 100 naira. I was telling one lady this today. You will never forgive yourself if you get an incurable disease like HIV, that ordinary 100 naira or 150 naira condom. 
could have prevented. It is that the prevention is very easy and that is incurable, yet you still can't. A word is enough for the wise. I believe the message is clear. Thank you for watching. My name is O Doctor. Remember to subscribe and share this video to inform your friends. Bye bye.